morning. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while, but I was uh, kind of rushed up a week ahead <coughs> on Tuesday. So um, a couple of long days putting it together because there's you have 10 minutes to, to do what you can do and do the best you can at it, and uh, there's no pressure at all. Yeah. So before we get uh, started, I wanted to give you a little background on who I am and where I've come from. I am from Alabama, as generations of both, both my mom and dad are from Alabama originally. And my dad being from South Alabama, uh, and this is a picture of my granddad there in the circle in 1913, when he was about 12 years old. His mother, seated there in front of him, was of the Creek uh, Nation, of American, uh, American Indians, Native Americans. My mom's side of the family is from Northwest Alabama, and the only claim to fame I have from that side is Mr. Rube Burroughs, who was a train robber and quite <laughs> caused quite a stir back in the uh, late 1800s until he was killed in 1890. And I'm not sure if Andy shot him, hung him, uh, and framed him or not, but maybe he did. <laughs> I grew up in a very rural area of Alabama, a community called Hytoke. <laughs> there, where uh, my mom and dad still reside on their farm. <coughs> After high school, I went on to Auburn University. Auburn University. Yes. Auburn, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 then from there, I went to Falk University, where I graduated with degrees in biology and mathematics, and then on to Southern Miss, uh, graduate work in environmental sciences, where I did research with Georgia Pacific, treating wastewater with artificial weapons. Very interesting. Not a lot of money in it, but it was interesting. <laughs> Following that, I made my way west. I stopped along in El Paso to serve on the advisory board of the Border Environment Corporation Commission, and then went on to Southern California where I worked with UPS, Kinko, if you remember them, when they were big word in Ventura, and also Echo Park A, which is an ecological uh, wastewater treatment uh, wetland in uh, Tijuana, Mexico. From there, made my way to Frankfort, Kentucky. I accepted the job before I'd ever set foot in the state of Kentucky. It was a lot of fun though with the State Department of Education. And then I went on to Chicago, where I worked with several companies that uh, most are still around, some have changed their name. But uh, I had a friend up there, and then he came back to Memphis to co-found a couple of companies. Supported oncology services and then uh, accelerated Community Oncology Research Network, or ACORN. I came along in 2006 to work with them to help build the companies, and then uh, in 2008 they were sold. Both companies were combined into one, A1 Research. I stayed along until January of this year, and I decided it was time for me to do something different. So here I am. <coughs> you see my tagline on my website, a different way of thinking. I bring 20 years of consulting experience in a variety of uh, industry types and organization types. There, I, I've been around the block, to say the least, and that's in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> why do I do what I do? Or better yet, the better question is, why should you refer me to do what I do? What is it that makes me different? <clears throat> I like this quote from uh, Albert Einstein where he said, we cannot solve our problems with the same level of thinking we used when we created them. <laughs> that is so true. And I want to illustrate that. What do you see in the circle? Red dot. White, white space. space. A <laughs> There's better than 2,200 square inches of pure white space. And what do we see? We see the red dot. That's so typical of businesses, especially small businesses. They're focused on the day-to-day -day activities. They're focused on making it to another day. And they don't see the potential that's there that needs to be unearthed. They don't see the solutions to the problems because what they see is the red dot. I come along to help them see all the white space and all the potential that is there for them. And with that different thinking, with UPS, I was able to reduce the time and cost by 50% of the rollout of that cute little 2D barcode that you see on their packages. Sorry for mentioning their name in FedEx world, but 
Yeah. 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 Kentucky Department of Education implemented a very simple automated tech support system that saved them $120,000 a year plus 30% of their tech support expenses. At Lucent Technologies, I pointed out an issue between their cellular relay towers. Just so happened during Y2K and the time change and the year change, things weren't syncing up exactly right. I pointed that out to save them millions of potential billing losses. Bank One implemented an automated trader processing uh, uh, system that saved them $1.5 million a year in processing costs. Pfizer introduced high tech imaging that enabled them to increase the, the fees they charged for their products to the point that they were able to uh, triple the revenue on that one product. And at Pfizer again, took a business unit from a $1.8 million loss to a $2 million net operating profit in three and a half years. All with process improvement, different way of thinking. Amar Research, as startups sometimes do, they're bleeding money because people are just burning it like crazy. Spending $250,000 a month in IT support and development. It's a company of less than 60 people at the time. Hmm. In five months, I brought that down to $10,000 a month. With no impact to customers, no impact to development. Different way of thinking. Got a medical consultant, altered his marketing message to meet his target market. He wasn't familiar with how to talk to doctors. He's now doubled his revenue every year for the last two years. And another industrial client that has spent all of their capital developing a new product to bring to the retail market. They have no idea how to deal with the retail market because that's not their thing. Introduce them to an investor. We're working on a $10 million investment and also to retail buyers. So things are moving forward. So what do we offer? Strategy development, financial management, operations improvement, marketing advice, technology development, and human resource improvement. So my spiel to you is, who of you know businesses that are struggling or need, that need a growth strategy? What do I mean by struggling? Anytime you hear somebody say, we need some help with this, or I'm not sure if we'll make payroll next week or next month, they're struggling. They need me. Who needs a growth strategy? Anyone starting a business? They don't know how to put a business plan together. They need me. Those are the kinds of things to listen for. And those are the people, if you've seen my sun diagram, those are the folks that I believe will hear those kinds of things or something similar. So keep your ears open. Now, after all that granting, do you have any questions about what I do? Two minutes. Yes, sir. Typical fee structure of so it depends on the company and what they would like to do. We structure it hourly by the project, be a retainer, or we even barter. Working with a coffee company and they're paying me in coffee right now. Not doing a whole bunch with them at the moment, it's starting to ramp up. But right now they're paying me with coffee. Tell us the group. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the group about what you're doing with the startup program downtown. Working with uh, Startco, mentoring uh, startups that are going through that program. There are a couple of startups I'm working with, and uh, it's introducing them to connections and to, to people that will help them move their startup forward. The showcase is next Thursday. If you have time, drop by the orchard and watch some of that <coughs> Thursday afternoon. What's the cost of an initial contact? 30 minutes, first 30 minutes is free. I'll know in 30 minutes whether I can help you or not. I have access to a lot of partners, uh, and if I don't have the expertise, I can bring in folks to do. My time is up.